You know, we recently developed a new control called ShopSaver MMP, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about that. The MMP stands for Mitsubishi Motion Platform, and we selected Mitsubishi because it's a rock-solid, well-respected machine technology. But, you know, there's another part to machine control that has to do with the machine operator. And that's the actual operator interface. And I wanted to take a little time to actually show you how that operates. We actually run the user interface in the Windows environment. And we do that for a couple reasons. One is it gives us the ability to connect to the outside world. So that lets me then send files directly to the machine control. And the other thing is through the internet, I can connect directly to shop server if I need to for machine diagnostics remotely. But there's another benefit of having a Windows environment, and that is software. Now I can run software on the machine controls. This is becoming very popular in the cabinet industry so that if you, if you have a part that's damaged out in final assembly, the machine operator can call that job up, find that part, remake it right there in real time on the fly and not involve three or four people in the front office. So that's turned out to be a real cost savings. Now, let's take a look at the actual interface, and we'll run a program on this. Okay, this is what the operator actually sees. All right, if you notice, everything's positioned on a single screen, so it's real easy to navigate. When we run a program, we'll see that displayed here. Okay, what you see here, the, the red rectangle represents the machine's actual work envelope, and this red circle is, is actually where the spindle is. And we use these buttons to move it around. By the way, keyboard moves also work on that, so you can actually use the arrow keys on the keyboard, and that works just fine, which is real handy. Now, if I want, I can actually move incrementally, so sometimes when I'm doing a real accurate setup, I may want to move it a thousandth of an inch at a time, so when I click on that, uh, each time I hit that, it moves it a thousand. so that's pretty nice. All right, now let's actually run a program, so let's say File, Open, and I'm going to run that program right there. Okay, it shows it's loaded. Now, I'm going to hit this button up here that shows the little eyeball, and it'll actually display where the, pro the parts are going to be on the table. So the first thing I look at is this what I thought I was running. <laughs> is this the pattern I thought I was running? And does everything fit right? And it looks, looks really good. It actually, uh, the machine actually goes in and checks to make sure there's no errors in the code, too, so I can, I can actually have it do that. All right, now, let's say we're going to run this file. All I have to do you hit the green button and it starts running. Now, while it's running through the G code over here, you see it actually plot in real time. So, where you see that spindle right there is where it is on the machine. So, it makes it a really, really nice, nice interface here because you can really tell what's going on. If I want to pause it for some reason, I just hit the pause button and the machine stops. Right, sometimes that happens if, if I'm, something's, I'm surprised. You know, it makes a move I wasn't expecting. So it lets me pause it, and then I can make a determination if that's really a problem or not. And I hit the pause button again, and it continues. And once we get finished with it, you know, it, it basically plots everything. So it shows you in real time uh, what's happening. Well, I hope you enjoyed this Shop Saver Minute. I wanted to take time to show you this exciting new control interface. Thank you for watching.